What's going on guys? Jake Boley with Barbin.com. Today we're back with another protein bar review and we're looking at Epic. This company is known for condensing big animals into tiny bars, so I'm pumped to give them a taste test and we're going to look at the pros, cons, and nutrition that come along with each bar. Alright, so now we're going to do a taste test with some of the bars. As you can see, we have multiple flavors here. We have the sriracha chicken, we have the chicken with sesame and barbecue seasoning, we have beef, we have bison, turkey, venison, lamb, and uncured bacon, and of course, the wild boar with uncured bacon. For our next taste test, I'm going to try the venison. I'm a big fan of venison. I grew up in the Midwest, and we've always had venison growing up, so I'm going to compare how this actually tastes to real venison that I would have when I was younger. This bar, one note, is only coming in at 80 calories and has 12 grams of protein. That's pretty solid right at the start. So now let's see how the taste actually compares. Oh wow. It's very chewy. It tastes like a beef stick, if you've ever had a venison stick. So, not very juicy, not a lot of liquid going on. Definitely pretty chewy. It's a little bit on the dry side but you can really taste that venison. There's not a lot of fat in it, so it makes sense as to why it's a little bit drier, but all in all, it tastes pretty good, and it honestly compares to a lot of the venison, venison sticks I had growing up, and I would give this probably an eight and a half, nine out of 10 for taste. All right, let's try another flavor. Let's go with the lamb. So we tried venison, it was pretty good, tastes similar to a beef stick. The wild boar was also very good and it had a lot of chew and bite to it. It had dried cranberries in it, which helped the flavor pop. There are spices in it, some sea salt, some red pepper, some rosemary, some sesame seeds. So let's see how it actually tastes. Hmm, that's interesting. It's very rich flavoring, tastes really good. You can really taste the spices in it. But if I would give it a full lamb taste, I don't know about that. It's definitely good and it's definitely not off-putting. I like the flavoring a lot. That's not to say it's not a good bar. But if it tr tr truly tastes like lamb that you're getting at like a, say a restaurant, obviously not so much, but all in all, decent taste, a lot of flavor. Spices really help the lamb pop for what it's worth. And I would give this bar probably seven and a half, eight out of 10. The texture was also pretty good. So one thing I wanna talk about with each of these bars is that you're gonna to expect to find a little bit of a varied texture between each. So I opened up three bars and taste tested them to give you a little bit of an example of the taste and also the texture. So we have the lamb bar here, which has organic currants in it, and you can see that the currants are actually in the bar themselves, and you can see that they kind of attach and then come off the bar as you break it apart. We have the venison bar, which is mostly meat, and you really, there's not really much to it, and it's a lot more stiff. Very chewy, but it's not as juicy as the other bars when you break it apart. And there's not much going on inside of it besides the venison and the spices itself. And then lastly, we have the wild boar bar, which has cranberries in it. So as you can see, similar to the lamb bar, you can actually see the cranberries inside. This bar is a little bit more juicy and it's a little bit more oily. It has a little bit of a higher fat content compared to the other two bars at eight grams. But as you can see, it has cranberries coming out of it. You can see a little bit of the texture of the spices and all in all, that's what makes up each of these bars. There's a little bit of varied texture, so if you're a fan of texture, I think you'll like these bars. All right, so now let's talk nutrition and ingredients on each of these bars. So for all these bars, you can expect to find 80 to 150 calories, and that's gonna vary depending on which bar you choose. And then for fat content, you can expect to find three to 10 grams, for carbs, one to 12 grams, and then for protein, seven to 15 grams, and again, that's gonna come down to which choice you make. For ingredients, so one thing Epic tries to do is to provide you with a bar with minimally processed ingredients that are more natural and more wholesome. So let's read off the lamb ingredients. We have lamb, organic currants, sea salt, a lactic acid, celery powder, spices, rosemary, red pepper, black pepper, basil, marjoram, oregano, and then we have sesame seeds, dehydrated spearmint leaves, and dehydrated lemon peel. And that's what goes into making this bar. So the base is lamb, and then they have different spices to kind of bring out that lamb flavor and to kind of keep the texture. So all in all, that's the nutrition breakdown and the ingredients for all these bars. So when it comes to pros with Epic Bars, I found like four or five things that I really like. First, I like the taste for what it's worth. 
Not all of them are gonna taste exactly like the meat if you got it, like let's say at a restaurant, but they are pretty good and they do a pretty good job at getting their desired flavor across. Next, I like that they're a little bit lower in calories and they have a little bit of variance. So 80 to 150 calories, that's a pretty good leeway depending on which bar you choose. So if you just need like a quick snack, I think these bars could be very good. Number three, they travel pretty well. They're not really chocolate based, so they don't really melt and stuff. Granted, I would not recommend leaving one of these bars in like the heat. So let's say like leaving a lamb bar in like a hot backpack all day or outside. I would not, I would not advise that for the actual texture and flavoring of the bar. Number four, I think the salad, there's a salad macro profile that go into each bar. For like, let's say the venison, 80 calories per bar and 12 grams of protein, that's really good. And if you need a quick snack on the go that's pretty protein heavy, that could be a good option. And then lastly, I like the ingredient listing. There's minimally processed ingredients in each one and I think that's a great attribute to have if you're wanting that number and like natural taste or natural approach and you don't really want a protein bar that has all the processed ingredients. So all in all, I think those are my five pros that I take away with the Epic Bar. So when it comes to cons for the Epic Bar, I can see two potential issues people having. Number one is the taste. Personally, I like the taste, but if you're not a big fan of having that kind of animal taste or like that full real animal taste in a bar, that might not be the best choice for you, especially since a lamb isn't exactly tasting like a lamb that you get in a restaurant, but it's pretty close. But again, that could be very off-putting for people. Number two, if you're a vegetarian, these bars are not gonna be the best choice for you, obviously, because they are animal-based. So again, if you're a vegetarian, not the best choice for you. When it comes to price for the Epic Bars, something that I kind of like with these bars and that you'll consistently see in either retailers or online is that they are a little bit lower price. So for one of these bars, you can expect to pay around $250 to $350 depending on where you're at. More urban areas are going to have a little bit more of a pricier bar. And then if you're more in the suburbs, it's going to be a little bit less. For a pack of 12, you can expect to pay around like $22 to $25 and that's pretty good. That comes in around like $2 to $250 per bar, which is a decent price. That concludes my review of the Epic Protein Bar. Personally, I liked the taste and I thought they had a solid macro profile, but I could see some potential drawbacks people having. To read more of my full thoughts, click on the link below or search Barbend and Epic Protein Bar. If you like this protein bar review and you want to see more protein related content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.